Hey, what's up, Ted? I just wanted to give you guys a quick demo on how to start this thing up. Uh, so, essentially what we have here on the gas train was just a mock-up. We would actually want to spin this the other way and practice to where this valve is in the place of this large brass valve, and the brass valve is back here. This would allow us to shut this entire system off from the main gas supply. These gate valves don't really shut the gas off all the way. They're just kind of a, a gate in there that's not 100% seal. And I wouldn't want to be leaving gas pressure on this valve all the time. So we would want to spin this around when we get it where it's going. And essentially, when you go to light this thing up, you're always going to want to have the door open. And you want to be sure to never raise this too much farther than that right there. That's probably about the highest you're going to want to lift it up. And now you can see we have it opened up. And this is how we would want to light this thing. So this right here is your control panel. You have your speed control for the blower on the top. The main power button. The spark button. And the two bypass valves. We're not worried about this one right here. I ended up, uh, we won't really ever need it because of the way the pressure transducer works. I put it there just in case we needed it, and during testing, come to find out, we don't. The one we need is on the bottom here. And what that does is allows the gas valve to be turned on while the flame sensor is not sensing flame. And we need that during ignition. So when we go to light this thing up, we would want to make sure that the gas valve bypass is in the on position. And that enables gas flow through the safety valve. Next thing we would do is hit the power button. And you can hear a little ticking noise in there. That is the flame sensor and primary igniter. And what we would do from here is set the speed controller on the blower until this pressure indicator gets to about 0.1 or 0.2. If you go any higher than that, when it ignites, it's very explosive and it's kind of loud, like the backfire on a truck. So you don't want to do that. You want to keep it at about one, which is around 4.6 to five on this, I believe. It's about 4.6. You would then hit the spark button. And after you hit the spark button, it'll run the spark inside of the combustion chamber for 60 seconds. So if you don't get it lit within 60 seconds, you just hit the spark button again. Once you've done that, what we would do, we would then slowly open the gas valve, like just a very minute amount, and slowly progress it until the burner ignites. In this particular case, we have this gate valve that I wanted to try out that may make it easier on you guys. Um, we would light it a little bit differently with this gate valve. This might allow for a little bit easier fine tuning and throttle control but essentially the name of the game is, is to slowly ramp the fuel up until the burner just lights. You don't want to give it too much fuel or else you're going to get a really big, huge fireball going there. So that's kind of the gist of it. Um, I've never ran this thing on natural gas and I don't know how it's going to behave at your guys' facility. So... If you guys do decide you want me to fly out there and hook this thing up and, and learn how to light it and then get you guys down the road with it, I am willing to do that. I didn't mean to just, you know, shut you down right away when you brought that up. I was just kind of a little leery about flying recently. There's a, I got stuck at the airport a while back, as I said, and there's a lot of other stuff going on. So if, if that's something you're still interested in doing, I don't want to leave you guys just kind of like stranded with this thing. You guys are probably more than capable of doing this, but if you are intimidated by it and you think you would rather have me come hook it up for you and, and show you how to use it, I don't have a problem with doing that. I just, I feel bad telling you I wouldn't fly out there. And I, I feel, I don't want you to feel like I'm abandoning you after the sale here. So if that's still something you want to do, I've got no problem doing that. And 